you can see here on the left the initial state which is a, a circular section state and then the deformed state here on the right we have created two area measurements, one in the initial state, one in the final deformed state, and those two areas should be equal. And then we, are, we have also entered four equations that drive the way the different um, radiuses uh, here in the deformed state uh, vary according to H, H being the, uh, the deformed uh, heights of the seal. So here, for example, I am at 18 millimeters. If I go down to 17.5 millimeters, we see that the seal deforms. If I go down to 18, it uh, comes up again. 18.5, it deforms uh, up again. So I'm going to save this component with H being unlocked because I want to use this seal component as um, what we call a smart component. I want to drive H from the value of the height of the slot that we have in the assembly. The equations that we have entered here are linear equations, uh, but of course it's possible to enter any type of um, polynomes or non-linear equations to drive the way the seal deforms. Many inventive users actually use uh, polynomes uh, generated from um, finite element analysis systems uh, to drive the deformation of such type of uh, components. So I'm now going to create or to switch to a new file in which I will create the assembly. In this file I'm going to load the bottom cover. This bottom cover component can be locked in the plane. Then I'm going to load as well the top cover. The top cover will be mounted on top of on the bottom cover using uh, point on object constraints. This point will be on this face, this point will be on this face, and then this point will be on this axis. So now we have properly mounted the top cover on the bottom cover. Then we are going to simply measure the heights of the slot because we want to use these heights as a, an input of the deformation of the seal. Then I'm going to load the seal itself. Here in the assembly we don't need the in the initial state, so I'm going to select the geometry of the initial um, state view and just place this geometry in the hidden layer. Then we want to uh, make sure the seal that we have here in the assembly is um, actually having exactly the same deform heights as the, the slot uh, height measurement. So to do this we are going to simply create an, a connection between the height in the assembly and the height in the component. Connections are accessed from this button here and then I'm going to click on the connection function and say that the H variable here from the assembly should be connected to the variable belonging to the seal component and that is also called H. So when I have done this I think you are I've been able to see that the seal has deformed a little bit so that its compressed height is uh, exactly equal to 18 millimeters. Then we are going to mount the seal in the slot. So this point should come point on object on this face. This point here will come point on object on this face. And then this point will come point on object on this face. When we have done this, we don't have any degrees of freedom left and we can now create the measurement, the functional measurement that is interesting for us. To create this functional measurement, we use a, a tangent uh, measurement with this button between the radius on the right of the seal and the left face of the slot. The nominal value of this gap is uh, 2.752. So since it is a deduced uh, 
dimension, we can do directly a tolerance analysis on it to check if the mounting condition is going to be satisfied. Here we see that at minus 6 sigma we are going to still have a gap of uh, 1.94 millimeters. This means that normally the mounting of the seal should, uh, should be um, reliable in, for this design. We can also explore the different contributors in this stack. So we see one big contributor is uh, the size of the slot. Another contributor becomes to the seal. It's actually the diameter of the initial state that we see here because uh, the initial state is hidden. Um, third contributor is the height of the half of the slot that belongs to the top cover. And uh, this contributor is a dimensional contributor of the seal. And this one is uh, the half uh, of the height of the slot uh, uh, present on the bottom cover.